Apollo is so adorable. Welcome back to another video. My name is Noble Oath. I wanted to talk about this new episode and including some news about Spice and Wolves. I will start off by saying that Crunchyroll has just announced that the dub original voice actors are coming back to this anime. If that didn't put the cherry on top of the cake, I don't know what did. This anime essentially just leveled up 10 times. When I found out about that information, it was almost like a second birthday for me. I am such a fan of the original dub voice acting in this anime. It's absolute top tier. I will wait until the dub is fully out before re-watching the series. I really think the series has definitely hit off the story, the animation, the dialogue of all of the characters is just so beautifully written and so taken care of. They included so many different scenes that are very lovable. It includes that originality from the original anime that many people did love. But I just wanted to get that out of the way because the dub in this series is one to one with the sub. And not a lot of anime can get to that point of the dub and and sub being on par with each other. It's very rare when that does happen. I do have Hollow's English voice actress signature right next to one of Hollow's figures. I really do admire and commend Brina and Michael as well on voicing these characters because there's so many things that go into a character but when it comes to anime, the voice is literally what builds that character into what they are. All the writing is a very important. That's first place importance of when you're writing a story and going about how to form the characters. But what comes after that is that voice acting. And the voice acting makes the characters come to life. And that's the most beautiful thing that I was hoping for. And it's fully realized that the dub actors are coming back to this anime. And I can't be more happy. But going into the third episode, it was essentially they go on to this town trying to make trading offers. And that's what Lawrence does in this episode, essentially. And the one moment that I really wanted them to keep in this new anime adaptation they did keep, which was Hollow being fascinated by the apples. And this scene in particular, I absolutely love, even in the original, because she was so like, oh, I want the apples. And he's talking about how apples sort of have this moneymaker of his friend that once made a lot of money from selling a bunch of apples at one point in time. And she's sort of like acting on instinct, which I found to be very cute. And they really treat Hollow very well, even though her form is hidden beneath her cloak it's really well done and that was one of the things that I did not favor in the original anime adaptation was the fact that when Hollow's wearing that cloak it more or less feels like she's under covers it made her stand out from the environment and people which is something that I didn't really like but in this new anime adaptation I like the way she has her cloak on because she doesn't really stand out as much she sort of blends into the color of the environment. The water effects in the lake and the river just look immaculate. But going into the core of the episode, Lawrence is essentially trying to make money off of his fur pelts that he has been traveling with from Paslo to Pazio. And that's what he tries to do. And essentially it runs the same course as it did in the original. Hollow helps Lawrence try to sell his fur pelts for a higher price. And the way she does it is buying apples and having them in the cart. And basically using the scent of the apples to her advantage. So that way Lawrence could sell apple scented fur pelts to the merchant that he is selling it to. The way Hollow describes a trick is so unique because because you can't be mad if someone tricked you. You just gotta be impressed by the fact that you did not realize that that was a trick in and of itself. And this is essentially what makes Hollow so lovable as a character. And when Lawrence is trying to explain to her the currency and how it changes over time with each silver coin that is being made, there's many different kinds of silver coins in this series. She's bored out of her mind. She cannot comprehend it because essentially it's all silver at the end of the day. But that's the thing. Going into what makes this episode even more good, they talk about how a specific kind of way a coin is made. The sound of it, based on what Hollow investigated on, was lowering in its value. 
the decrease in value is due to not minted in the same fashion as past silver coins. And that's something they come to find out and at that realization, Lawrence essentially says, oh, I better go talk to that guy because he's trying to make a profit while Lawrence is losing a little bit of profit and I can't wait for this next episode. It's essentially about economics, but Isana Sensei describes economics in this series so well and I know, you know, plastering a wolf girl in front of economics sounds really fun and it, it really is. I can't say how much more excited I am for the future of this anime, especially knowing that they included a lot more extensions from the soundtrack that is played earlier in the anime but extending that soundtrack and including new soundtracks that we've never even heard before and i loved them kevin did a really good job on some of the soundtracks but i really do love the voice acting so far it's my first time listening to the sub actors i never watched the original anime adaptation in the original sub but i would say that i am fairly what enjoying this anime and i would definitely love to hear your guys' thoughts Feel free to like, subscribe, comment down below your guys' thoughts and opinions. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace.